folks, I'm Tim Thompson. One of my most popular videos on my channel has been how to tie the truckies hitch. And I've had a few comments from people that they'd like to see a couple of different versions of how to tie the truckies hitch. So today I'm coming back to that same knot, but I'm gonna show you three different ways of tying a hitch. The first two are genuine truckies hitches. The third one is an easy one for people that are starting out. So to start tying down our load, we're always going to start on the driver's side of the vehicle because this is the side you don't want to have to adjust and we're going to tie our regular clove hitch and a half. To tie our clove hitch, we go once around the load bar, cross the end over the standing part of the rope, go around the load bar again and through the hole we just made. There's our clove hitch. Now to further secure this knot, what we then need to do is do one more half hitch with the free end of rope so that we now have a clove hitch and a half. That shouldn't go anywhere. So now we're on the passenger side of the vehicle and I'm going to show you the traditional way to tie off your truckies hitch. So to start the traditional truckies hitch, we go one time around the bar on the passenger side of the vehicle. Just like we're tying the clove hitch, we bring the rope across. This time though, instead of working with the end of the rope, we're going to work here on the bite. We're going to bring this slowly up so that we've now got our lever section. We've got a loop here and we've got the standing rope. We're going to put our hands now between the loop and the standing rope. Bring our hand around the standing rope, grasp the loop. Pull the standing rope off our hand and we've now hitch the rope together. We do that one more time. Put our arm between the loop and the standing rope, grab the loop, pull it through. And now when I pull down on the rope, we have a truckies hitch that will enable us to get a very tight load. All we then have to do is finish this off with a clove hitch and a half, the same as we started with. We go once around the, the bar, across, around again, through the hole, and do another half hitch to secure the load off. The remaining section of rope can be looped, tied to the standing rope, and kept out of the way while we're driving. This version of the truckies hitch will turbocharge your knot tying a little bit because it saves time feeding the rope around the load hitch. The next approach is simply to make a loop here, put your hand through that loop, grab the standing part of the rope. Now we've got our same familiar configuration and we're going to do the same thing with our hand. We're going to put our hand between the loop and the standing part of the rope bring our hand around the standing part of the rope, grasp the loop, and pull our hand through. Going to do the same thing one more time. Between the standing part of the rope and the loop, put our hand around, grasp the loop, and pull it through. Now all I have to do is pull down on the free part of the rope, same as before, and our truckies hitch has secured our load. Tie it off with the clove hitch and a half. Let's now have a look at the third version, which is really simple. Not as strong, but really simple. Now this is the really easy to tie version, but it's not as strong. It's good for things like tying down motorbikes or bales of hay. We're gonna bring our rope all the way around the load bar. Just like that. Now we're gonna work higher up the rope. This time, further up the rope, we're going to put one, two, three twists into the standing part of the rope. We now have an eyelet hole. We're going to push the standing part of the rope through that eyelet hole and create a locked off loop. This is the loop that we can then put the free end of our rope through, pull it all the way through, and we've now got a tie down point. So there you have a really quick, simple hitch that isn't quite as strong, all the pressure's on one knot, and 
I wouldn't recommend it for heavy loads, but it's kind of handy if you've got a limited amount of rope or you're just tying down a motorbike or a bit of hay in the back of your ute. It will put enough pressure on your load to keep it secure and in place with a good solid rope. We're going to finish that off with a clove hitch and a half once again. Always be finishing with a clove hitch and a half. So now we've got our free rope. We've tied off our load once again. Secure the free section of rope reasonably tidily to the top of your bed. That's not going anywhere and we can drive down the road safe and secure in the knowledge our load is not going to leave us behind. If you like this video, please do think about supporting the channel by subscribing. It's the little red button down there. It doesn't cost you a cent. I try and come out with a new video most weeks. Thanks guys. Until next time.